Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the card of destruction. So you've been through a, um, you know, a Tao moment really. Something really big has happened. It's caused a lot of problems. There's been a lot of drama that you've been going through recently. So you're going through a period of a lot of loss uh, and a lot of poverty really uh, feeling very very restricted as far as finances goes it seems like you've lost quite a bit as well now you've got the abundance card coming in for you there uh, so things are about to improve maybe there's a turnaround things are coming back into your hand again you've learned a lot of lessons from what has gone through what has gone off you might even be thinking of doing some further uh, maybe studying or maybe improving your skill set as well maybe going back to school as well with this lesson card maybe whatever you've been through as well might be enough for you to be able to teach other people as well now in the past you've got the woman of the world so you know uh, maybe not handling things with such naivety as you used to in the past uh, you've gone had a lot of experience you have a lot of uh, skills and talents under your belt as well and a lot of things have been coming to light so you've been using these to make decisions uh, and you know bringing in uh, um, maybe making choices as well based on all your experiences that you've had now, going into the future, there might be some kind of business trip coming in over there. There's a journey card over there. Uh, it might not be the best of journeys. You've got the storm over there. This could be a very enlightening journey as well. So a lot of information, it stirs up a lot of issues as well. Uh, so there could be, you know, you, there could be some problems on that journey or that trip that you're taking where information, uh, you know, is brought to light and it causes a, a bit of disruption as well. So you are dealing with that kind of energy um, um, going on around you still not quite settled really as far as the energies go so I'm going to draw some cards from the zombie tarot Oops. I have shuffled this deck So you've got the King of Cups over here. So you might be dealing with a water sign person. Um, it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces person that you're dealing with at the moment. Um, on the other hand, you know, in the situation that you are in, it is some kind of authority position that you are in, and you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed in that particular situation. Uh, you know, you're able to sort things out, but maybe there's a lot of problems, and you're having to deal with that. And uh, this is being, you know, you can see the water's almost right up to his face over there. So, uh, you know, this might be making, be making you feel very, very overwhelmed. Uh, if this is a person that you're dealing with, uh, a water sign person, they might be giving you a lot of grief as well. So, uh, you know, just, um, you know, try and hang in there. Don't let them get, um, uh, get you, f get emotionally riled up about the situation. They might be making you feel very un unhappy or very upset. And this might be causing you to feel very emotional in this particular situation. This could also be, you know, if it's not somebody that is giving you maybe grief, this could be somebody that is um, giving you, you, you know, support. Maybe there is uh, somebody that you're working with that is giving you some advice that is worth listening to. Now, what's happening for you? You've got the Ten of Wands and you've got the Nine of Swords. So you're very stressed out with your work. And you're carrying a lot of responsibilities and a lot of burdens over there. Uh, with that Ten of Wands, it's taking too much on your plate, doing too much of work, putting a lot of effort on into it, and you're very exhausted. Um, and you're also very stressed out about what is going on, expecting the worst-case scenario. You're trying to make plans for the future over here. You see this man's looking to the future, but you're too stressed out, too anxious. And you might be having some kind of stress-related illness now with the ten of cups or um, the king of cups is also about seeking medical uh, treatment for stress related illnesses and that nine of swords you can see this person's in the pajamas in a hospital uh, you know because they're so stressed out so you need to actually take a little bit of a break from all these problems you've been carrying a lot of responsibilities and a lot of burdens and it's having an impact on your health so that you're maybe needing some kind of uh, medical intervention don't ignore any kind of problems if you do need some uh, you know medical attention you 
you should um, go and um, you know seek that uh, because all these uh, problems are re um, rising from overwork and uh, too much of stress at work as well. Now, what's been happening with you? You've got the four of hazards. So you've been really focused on trying to accumulate wealth. Um, you know, after you've been through that tower moment where you've had a big loss, it seems like you're working very, very hard to protect your assets and you're ve working very, very hard to accumulate assets. Uh, you can see that this man's got a gun and he's trying to accumulate all this food over there. Uh, so you are working extremely hard. You're trying to watch and manage your finances, and uh, you know, but there's still a lot of uh, pressure from people around you. So you have been working, overworking. You've got the Hierophant card over here. So this is dealing with a lot of information, a lot of research, a lot of study that's going on for you, and also you might be taking on a teaching role as well. So you may have taken on a role where you're training or you know, giving out, handing out information to people as well. Um, you know, uh, like I said, maybe teaching, um, guiding people as well with that hierophant card now what you want is you want the beginning of you want money to come in this is the ace of hazards or the ace of pentacles you want new money you want a new job you want to change your financial status really and that's been playing on your mind so you're really very focused on the money you're really thinking about it quite a bit and this is the thing that is stressing you out maybe this is the reason why you're taking on more than you can actually handle at this particular moment and it's having a knock-on effect on your health now, going to the future, there's the Knight of Swords over here. So you might be dealing with a very difficult energy, a difficult person who's very insulting, who's very, you know, who causes a lot of problems, who stirs up a lot of problems, who stirs up a lot of conflict as well. And this is the energy that you seem to be dealing with, a very, very nasty kind of person as well. Um, so this could be an air sign person. This could be Libra, um, Aquarius, or uh, Gemini energy that's coming through. This could, have, you know, could even be this water sign person that you're dealing with that's coming across as that knight of swords who's stirring up a lot of problems, causes issues, uh, maybe is very critical of what you do, um, you know, has got a lot of nasty things to say. They're always shooting at you or trying to, uh, you know, cause, a, um, you know, almost cause pain and suffering on your part. Uh, so they say their thing and they move on and this is just really upsetting you quite a bit. And this in itself is stressing you out because you've got that uh, nine of swords over there. So something very, you know, very, very stressful going on with this energy that keeps coming and going and, and saying things that are pretty nasty to you and that's upsetting you quite a bit now you've got the magician card over here so you're very very much focused on your work uh you know all, all in all things are working out the magician you know you are getting what you need to be able to sort the thing through things you have um you have all the talents, you have all the skills you need to actually get this job done, and you're pretty good at it. Uh, and, you know, you're quick thinking, uh, and you're working with a lot of people, communicating your ideas quite clearly. Uh, and what you're doing is very exceptional as well. Uh, it's very, very, um, you know, specialized almost. Uh, and you have all the skills and training in order for you to do it. And you're very, very focused on that work, and you're trying to manifest with it. Now, you've got the Eight of Wands over there, so things are starting to move very quickly for you. You're now dealing with a lot more people, a lot more communication and you're actually trying to turn your back on this person that is causing this problem it's almost as though this man is shooting at this woman from behind so whatever this person is doing they might be backstabbing or causing things behind your back doing things behind your back that you don't know and they're stirring up problems stirring up um, a lot of conflict as well so you're trying to take your opportunities and move forward but this person is almost preventing you from moving forward because they keep attacking you and maybe they're doing it from behind uh and you're not even aware of it but you know they're causing a lot of problems for you now what you want you want to move away from all the conflict you're trying to protect yourself or you're trying to defend whatever you're doing but there's still a lot of conflict and even though you're trying to move away from it it still c keeps coming back there and uh you know um interfering with your progress as well but things are going to start moving with that eight of wands over there so things are going to look better there's going to be a lot more communication and you will be able to move away from uh, whatever's going on there might even be some travel as well involved with that eight of wands so the future outcome over here you've got the moon card over there temperance and the fool so the moon card says being very de you know being depressed but the answers will come to you in your dreams you've got the bird flying in uh with a key so it looks like you know you need to pay attention to your dreams. There are psychic messages uh, messages coming in for you. So you will find the solution to these problems that you're dealing with uh, through your dreams. So you know keep a dream journal. You are feeling very depressed, and this is also cut about being very stressed and not sleeping well at night. You've got the Temperance card, which is talking about you need to heal. You need to take a step back. You need to de-stress. 
So do things that will do that. So uh, on the side, to do some meditation, uh, you know, and, um, you know, do some stress management. This is the thing that is going to help you get or conquer this particular situation. There might be some advice also coming in with that temperance card. Uh, you need to get that balance back, but also you need to follow some advice uh, about how to actually deal with the situation. So, um, you know, you need to... Uh, also be able to use all your skills and talents, so use everything that you have at your disposal in order for you to get through the situation. Um, and you uh, will be making some kind of brand new beginning. Uh, so there's a new, something brand new coming in, leaving that past to rest and moving on. So, uh, you know, it looks like it's going to be successful. The pathway looks very, very open for you, but you need to get those emotions and that depression under control in order for you to move forward. Um, and, you know, I, I think just walk away from this person that is causing all this problem, uh, because if you can see this, you know, this Nine of Wands looks like this woman is walking away from it. So whatever this problem problem is, or whatever this person stirs up over here uh, on the work front, just turn your back on them and, and don't give them any air time. Uh, just, you know, um, don't um, get pulled into any arguments or fights with them, because uh, it's not going to be worth your while. Uh, they seem to be, you know, very much against you. This person is very, very um, armored up. He's got a lot of guns and a sword, and he's got the... Uh, you know, the tank over there. So, you know, they're all out to get you. Uh, and the only way it seems that you're going to be able to deal with this is actually just not even engage in any kind of battle with them. Just focus back on your work again and you will be able to achieve everything you want. You will be making a brand new beginning. So you might actually, if you're going through this position, uh, situation at work, you might actually walk away from it and go and start off something else, uh, something brand new. But get those emotions under check if you're not moving on and don't engage or don't give that person uh, the opportunity to attack you or criticize you in any sort of way and if they do just ignore it and just walk away from it so you are pretty stressed a need for you to get some stress management techniques going uh, in order for you to deal with whatever is going on now you've got the chariot card as the first card which says a success that comes from dedication and self-discipline collaborating um celebrating your efforts and being in the spotlight so it looks like you are going to be achieving and you know this person is giving you grief because they're extremely jealous of you and they can see that you know you're on the road to success over here so just you know get uh, your ducks in a row really uh, take control of that situation ignore what they're saying and just focus on your work and you will achieve this is the card of achievement um, you've got the life experience card over here so let go of um, belief systems that no longer serve you an important or life-changing life event a situation that leads to significant opportunities so um, you know this is like the tower moment so something big is going to be changing for you a big shift in energy and uh, that's going to present an opportunity for you and it looks like you know you're going to be able to move forward and move away from things uh, that are not serving you so there's success coming in and it's going to be uh, you know bringing about big changes you've got the four of winter over here so set aside your concerns for now you can make a decision later solutions that come from meditation and a need for more sleep um, or a vacation so you do need to take a little bit of a break over there um, you know, you need to step out of the situation. You've got that Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. These are just really not really nice um, cards for for you to have. It just shows that there's so much of burdens and so much of stress. And, uh, you know, you've got that King of uh, Cups over there with the water going over his nose. So you are feeling very overwhelmed right now. And you do need to take a little bit of a break, a little, a little bit of a holiday. Uh, and re-strategize, really. Come up with a new plan. Look at it from a different angle. So if you have uh, some kind of free time or holiday coming in and even if you don't it's a, if you have a weekend uh, to yourself take it and go go to the local park and just sit in the park in the sun and just relax and think about things and have a, you know a, a point where you uh, start using meditation start using um, stress management techniques you know even just going on on to um, you know YouTube and listening to um, you know the Tibetan um, um, singing uh, bells, those bells that they have, or even just listening to some meditation is going to be really good enough uh, to just de-stress you because you are extremely stressed and that's affecting you quite a bit. You've got some depression going on over here. And the temperance card is saying you need to get that balance. You need to find that balance back again or you're going to end up with stress-related illnesses. And once you get yourself, uh, your priorities, get more sleep as well, the solutions will come to you in your dreams uh, on how to deal with this particular circumstance, uh, you will be able to make a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. 
So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.